Enjoy a taste of the world from right where you are. Well, it's time for some cooking. Let's get you cooking. Well, it's time for some cooking with Barb. Hello, this is Barbara Gardner. I'm a travel specialist at Grand European Travel. And today um, I'm making shrimp and grits. Um, we were talking uh, in a virtual team meeting the other day about um, travel and the fact that we can't all travel right now. However, we've all been probably looking through our photos, right, of past travels, things that you remember, um, cultures and flavors. Um, so we want to bring some taste sensations to your table and maybe provide some inspiration for you. Um, my husband and I were in Charleston, South Carolina two years ago. We had a wonderful time there. Um, really enjoyed the food, the culture, the landscape. And one thing that we loved when we were there with shrimp and grits. It's very simple. Um, so what I've done, uh, just because we only have a few minutes here, is I have some grits. You can certainly use polenta. That's fine. Uh, basically, grits and polenta are the same. It's just different kinds of corn that are used to uh, make that product. So, um, I happen to have some Jimmy Red grits from the Geechee Boys that we got in South Carolina that I'm using for our grits today, and I'm going to make them cheesy. Um, right now, um, and I did make a, a shrimp stock, so with the um, shrimp shells, I just simply boiled them in water for about 20 minutes, and then use that water, the stock, so to speak, to make the cooking liquid for the grits that I'm now stirring. So subsequently, at the same time, I'm heating up the uh, bacon fat that I used, uh, that was rendered when I uh, cooked the bacon. So this is my mise en place, okay? So everything that I have in my ingredient photo I have now chopped, grated, squeezed, and cooked. So uh, I've got my pan heating up with the bacon fat in it that was rendered from cooking the bacon. So now I'm going to saute some onions and some garlic. cooking the shrimp. It's a very simple recipe. And you may notice in the background uh, we have our what I call the Julia Child wall. Um, maybe some of you, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Julia Child. Um, and if you've been to the Smithsonian, they have Julia Child's wall of pots and pans preserved in the Smithsonian. It's fascinating. So we have what I call our Julia Child wall of all of our pots and pans and other cooking implements um, that I like to have displayed. So, now grits and polenta just does take quite a bit of stirring, so you just have to be here and stir, 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 um, which is not a big problem. What I usually like to do is put on some music uh, while I'm cooking, cooking anything for that matter, but especially something that requires a lot of stirring, and if you have little helpers around because kids aren't in school right now, there are some things that are good to have your kids help you do, such as stir. It's a simple thing. Um, 
So now back to preparing the um, shrimp. So we've got just our garlic and onion sauteing, uh, just on a medium, kind of medium-ish heat, and just keep stirring them around. And then I'm going to add the shrimp, which I have peeled and deveined. Um, you can buy either frozen shrimp and thaw them. Um, you don't have to get them with the, uh, the shells on. You can get them shelled already. I just like them with the shells on because I like to make the shrimp stock. Um, so then I'm going to turn up the heat a bit just to get a good kind of stir fry type of thing going on here. Um, that's why I like a gas range, but of course I've worked on very many different types of cooktops, so whatever you have. And then, um, you know, I this recipe does call for parsley. I didn't have parsley on hand. I'm not going to run out to the store right now in this environment just to get a bunch of parsley. So whatever you have on hand works. Um, so we'll get this turned up a little bit. Give this a stir. And so the twenty, uh, the polenta or grits takes about twenty minutes of stirring. And when I first um, started it, I added the shrimp stock with the butter and salt and um, and then um, I've got that going and then after a little bit of cooking time this is getting really nice and thick now as you can see so it's really looking good um, again this is a Jimmy Red from Geechee Boys, so you can see these little specks of red, so I can only imagine what the corn kernels looked like. They were probably kind of like that Indian corn, maybe, with some of the red kernels. So now that's getting thicker, I'm going to add the cheese that I grated. So this is a short cheddar cheese, but again, as I mentioned in the recipe, any any sort of cheese. Again, you can use what you have on hand um, and innovate. You just don't, you know, recipes are just kind of, to me, an idea. A recipe can always be maneuvered and don't get scared of of being exact from a lot of things. It's just a matter of having fun, playing music, um, doing what you want with the food, but just going with the basic recipe and trying to figure out what you want to achieve with that. Um, so I've got the cheese mixed in. Mm, looking really good. You see how that cheese just melted in there and it's making this creamy, creamy, cheesy grit consistency. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mmm. Yes. It's just what we're looking for. Um, so I'm going to stir these a little bit because the shrimp cook super fast. So I'm going to add the green onion. And then we have our lemon juice that I squeezed. And then the bacon. And we'll just mix that together really quickly so that all the flavors meld and get kind of all there together. And that looks great. So the shrimp just takes a couple of minutes. And then we've got our cheesy grits here. Mmm. I am just so looking forward to this. 
Look at that. Look at how creamy it is. And I wish I could share the smells, but I can't. You can't do scratch and sniff on a video, but um, boy, oh boy, it's smelling good. Just take my word for it. And then tonight, um, because right now it's asparagus season, um, we live in the Pacific Northwest, and um, I have steamed some asparagus. It's from Washington. We're in Oregon. This is from Washington, just a few hours away. So I steam that. I'm going to put a simple little dressing on it, and that's what's for dinner. Thank you for watching. I hope you are inspired to travel and cook and eat and be safe. Enjoy a taste of the world from right where you are. Well, it's time for some cooking. Let's get you cooking. Well, it's time for some cooking with bar.